Tadge Grabber here bringing you another gameplay breakdown on this channel today. I'm going to be talking about a hell of a lot of different stuff. I'm going to be talking about why the hell I'm playing Black Ops 2 in the background. I'm going to be talking about why I sound like a rapper right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, but I'm also going to be talking about the next Call of Duty, what I think about it, and you know, some other stuff along the way. I might end up going into some bonus gameplay because I can sort of imagine myself talking for ages and ages, but I do have another Black Ops 1 gameplay prepared, and I suppose that's the first thing I'll talk about, what this gameplay is all about. So, Basically, Advanced Warfare can be really fun for me while I'm playing ranked play. You know, 4v4, I feel it's a lot less chaotic than uh, pubs, you know, 6v6, because I feel like 6v6 is really pretty chaotic and not too enjoyable with everyone all over the place all the time. But ranked play is a, a lot more fun, and you'll be seeing some Advanced Warfare in the next video. And I don't know if you've, you unlikely you'll have seen Kieran, Kieran's montages, but I'll, um, I'll help him out a little bit and I'll link those down there in the description. Uh, he watches all of my videos, so he's made a couple of little Advanced Warfare Road to Masters montages. So I'll link those down in the description if you want to check those out. And I'll be probably bringing you guys something similar um, soonish. But yeah, so when I don't want to play ranked play and don't want to like play competitively, you know, I'll hop on another game. It might be Ghosts, it might be Black Ops 2. But I thought I'd go back on Black Ops 1, and the reason why I'm using this horrendous w weapon, the uh, the RPK, is, uh, well, I suppose I'll tell you a little bit of a story about when I first got this game, Black Ops 1. So when me and, and, uh, and my mate, codenamed Sloth, got this game back in 2010, I don't really know what he, I think he used, like, a... Uh, I don't know, I think he used decent weapons, but basically, my strategy when I was incredibly young, um, there's a little thingy here if you want to try and get an answer to this, but uh, when I was incredibly young, my strategy, so this is the first ever strategy of, uh, of the Tactical Rabbit, and the strategy was in Black Ops 1, so the perks I would use would be Hardline, Steady Aim, and uh, sleight of hand, so the uh, the most newbie perks anyone could possibly imagine. And my insane strategy was that I would camp in a room the entire game. I would put C4s on both doors, and when anyone walked in, they'd shoot me because they probably had a UAV or something and knew where I was. And my reactions were so slow that they would be manage to shoot me, and I would drop down into second chance. And then when I was in second chance, I would double tap square blowing them and myself up with the C4 and my intention was just to go positive with this incredible strategy but often I would just get killed on the way back to my uh, to my camp spot so unfortunately that was my initial strategy but when I uh, when I first began to actually aim I decided to try and use a different weapon and for whatever reason the weapon I decided to use was the RPK which is has got to be one of the worst guns in the game I mean, as far as LMGs go, it's it's awful, but within this game, there's a lot of better ones. You know, the Stoner is pretty good. The HK-21 is also pretty good because it's similar to the uh, RPK, but it has a lot less recoil. I'll just let you enjoy this incredible... Uh, uh, what is that? Okay, now this is just one thing you don't want in the next COD. I mean... Let's just watch this kill cam again real quick. So I'm shooting this guy, pre-firing him, and this is where second chance comes in. I probably got a, a few kills like this myself back in the day. But he's getting pre-fired, and then he's already, he should be dead. Ugh, that's just one of the, that's just one of those things, isn't it? But, yeah, so I call him my chopper gunner right here. So yeah, for some reason I decided to use the RPK. And I suppose what I could talk about is what I think about, this is what I was going to talk about, is what I think they should do with the balancing for the uh, next Call of Duty. Because in Black Ops 1, I feel like when they came into Black Ops 2, they was like, damn, we treated those, uh, those LMGs harshly. We treated those shotguns harshly. Those, uh, you know, the snipers and the, the infrared scope. So let's make them really good. And that was a little bit of an issue, really, because um, in Black Ops 2, they took what I thought was perfect LMG balancing from Black Ops 1. Um, Black Ops 1, effectively, the LMGs are really high damage, but really high recoil. So, 
the RPK, I was looking at an Xbox Ahoy video, you're probably familiar with him, and effectively he just said that it's a two-shot headshot kill at any range and a three-shot kill at any range to the body. And, you know, it kills really quickly, but it's very difficult to control. And that was a perfect way for these LMGs to be because they were sort of a specialist weapon. You know, I mean, I you could use the LMGs as um, as long range suppression weapons, trying to hit your two shots or two trying to hit your headshots or, you know, trying to use them as long range suppression weapons. But um, you could also use them. You could put on steady aim and you could just run around spraying from the hip with a high ammo count. That's one of the things they did wrong with Black Ops One is they gave the LMGs gave what gave. Uh, yeah, gave <laughs> the LMGs a um, a really small mag count, so you basically need extended clip uh, because the RPK only had 40 rounds and the uh, the HK21 only had 30 rounds. So the thing they did right in Black Ops 2 is bumping that up up to like pretty much 100 rounds or 75 rounds, but. What they did do also is they reduced the recoil and it, they suddenly just became big assault rifles and they weren't specialist weapons anymore, they were just generic weapons that people could easily use. So they need to return to that, they need to return to assault rifles and SMGs being sort of the go-to guns, um, <coughs> sort of the noob friendly guns and then the... LMGs and snipers and stuff, they need to be competitive, but they need to be sort of specialist weapons. <clears throat> so that's my thoughts on that. So yeah, the next Call of Duty was announced, it's going to be Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, now I know a lot of people were thinking it's going to be World at War 2, and to be quite honest, I can't imagine people truly expected that. Because, let's be honest, they started creating this game when Ghosts came out, in 2013, and look at this guy getting awesome final kill cam here, what a great knife. Uh, but yeah, they started uh, creating this game when they came out in, um, in you know, when Ghost came out in 2013, and back then people did not hate the idea of a future setting, but nowadays, you know, with Advanced Warfare, everyone, not everyone, some people like the exosuits, and I can see their place uh, in Sledgehammer's Call of Duties, but I just personally, I prefer... Uh, the Call of Duties is um, being on the ground, and I think it does little, get a little chaotic at times. But, you know, it can be fun, and got a nice little, um, you know, chopper gunner here, get a nice few kills with this on the old launch. And, yeah, so a lot of people think it's going to be World at War 2, but Black Ops 3 was sort of inevitable, really, considering the success of the, uh, the previous series. Is, but if the series is, the previous games in the series, but... If they were making a game now, maybe they would have. But let's be honest, Treyarch, no. Treyarch are good with community feedback. They know what we want to see. They know what we um, what we think we're going to enjoy playing. So I think it's fairly likely that they're going to listen to us and maybe not include exosuits. So you may have heard about that. Even though it looks like exosuit, sort of maybe a little bit on the video. Got some bonus gameplay here. Got some Dragonov infrared scope gameplay. <laughs> this is another of those weapons I was like, you know what, let's see what I can do with this disgusting of weapons. I used to think the Dragonov was good, by the way, back in the day. But uh, it's clearly, <laughs> it's clearly not. But yeah, so... Um, so I don't even know what I was talking about. I was talking about World at War or something. But yeah, so effectively, the previous Black Ops... The Black Ops series is really, uh, really well received, and a lot of people were th thinking that the box art that was revealed looks like an exosuit. But personally, uh, a lot of people have been saying, or I saw a Charlie Intel article talking about that it is more likely to be what they call cybernetic enhancements. So effectively, more of a RoboCop style of. Uh, multiplayer play and just uh, remember here for a second the campaign is going to be all over the place and it's gonna be probably all the way back to World War 2 maybe just the Cold War but if you've played the previous campaigns uh, for the previous Black Ops series, then you will know that they jump all over the place. A lot of it is in form of flashbacks and I was thinking a second are they really going to make part of the game with no 
exosuits at all and then have another part of the game with exosuits and boost jumping all over the place you know that would seem a little bit wonky so I think maybe it's more likely that we will have more on the ground action but the uh, the robotics that they're talking about um, are more likely to be sort of on the ground and no vertical boost jumps they were talking about more on the ground and maybe some side to side dodging and stuff along those lines wall running I feel is fairly unlikely but I feel again everyone's just comparing it to Titanfall everyone's comparing it to Halo and thinking um, it's gonna be like that but you've got to remember this is Treyarch's game that they've been developing for so long are they really now going to take ideas off Advanced Warfare which um, on the whole has not been a particularly well received game um, by a lot of the community. I think it's fairly frustrating how hypocritical the community are considering everyone's like oh yeah we want change but <laughs> we don't want change and Thunder was talking about this everyone's like yeah we, we, we want something to change and I have uh, I give Sledgehammer great credit for trying something out and I think that it has worked in a way because in future Sledgehammer's Call of Duties will be along those lines and it will be hopefully what makes them stand out look at this BS okay I shoot this guy twice quite clearly you can slow it down again you know if you're watching on Google Chrome you can rewind and put it on a 0.25 speed if you want to I shot him clearly twice there but uh, apparently no hit markers but it doesn't matter because get up in my chopper gunner but yeah so my thoughts on Black Ops 3 is I think it's you know I'm not gonna eat eat look too much into the speculation here I I cannot bring myself to watch T Martin's videos not like I'm subscribed to him anyway but I can't bring myself to watch T Martin's videos or Ali A or any of these people who are just speculating all over the place because it just it just ruins the game really so you need to just stay positive on this one you gotta assume that Treyarch here are gonna do a good job with this game because they've been developing it for so long I mean the campaign's gonna be amazing we know that for a fact um, because it always is with Treyarch games and especially being multi multi timeline and having so long to develop it you know the campaign's going to be going to be great this Dr. Salim character that we're not too sure about here so if you've been following the Snapchat it looks pretty interesting but yeah those are my very initial thoughts on Black Ops 1 I uh, just stay confident guys uh, be confident that it's going to be no exosuits that would be my personal opinion uh, there might be some cybernetic enhancements as I talked about but I think those will generally be a positive addition to the game. So that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Obviously this is very early but I get a little wall bang right here. So if you've watched to the very end, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, please leave a like down below if you would. Sorry there was no, you know, um, overlays and annotations on this last gameplay. But I thought it would be more of a... Uh, you know, you're not exactly going to take many tips from me using a uh, infrared dragon off because I would definitely not recommend it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Very long video, but if you have watched to the end, please leave a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time.